again in the town or village of Castañer that's nestled between four beautiful towns in the central mountain sides of Puerto Rico in the towns of Arjuntas, Lares, Maricao, and Yauco. Here's a wonderful microgrid project that we're proposing for the shop owners and the commercial owners of the town. We're talking about providing energy uh, and storage and resiliency for a supermarket, for a couple of bakeries, and for a couple of other businesses in the town of Castañer, which provide essential services for about 10,000 people that live in this area of Puerto Rico. And every time they have a, a storm, for example, like Hurricane Maria, this particular area was left without electricity for almost five months. Thousands of people that were here left without electricity for five months and somehow they survived. And one of the, one of the reasons why they survived is because the shop owners, like the, the owner of the supermarket that we're standing in front of, uh, opened up his business so that the people around the town could use his refrigerator, can use the food inside that uh, supermarket in order to survive during that period of time. So this project, this microgrid project, is a rather robust one to up to 225 kW in generation and about 500 kilowatts, kilowatt hours of storage capacity uh, for the town of Castañer. It's really a lifesaver and uh, not only for the town of Castañer, but it actually represents a potential model that could be replicated across many towns in Puerto Rico. It can also present a business model uh, to bring renewable energy to all the different sectors of Puerto Rico uh, alongside with the new regulations that move Puerto Rico towards 100% renewable energy by the year 2050. But that can't only happen in the urban areas, that can't only happen in areas where people have credit and means, it also has to happen in the rural and the countryside of Puerto Rico because after all, energy is about justice and energy is about quality of life.